Let's look at using style states for managing visibility in an assembly. You're probably aware that you can control the display style from the in graphics toolbar. Right now I'm viewing shading with edges. I can change it to shading or no hidden line or hidden line or wireframe. And in hidden line and wireframe, you can see that there are some internal components, which right now are difficult to see. Let me go back to shading with edges and you could hide components, but sometimes you want to see the outline of those components. And what would be helpful is if you could apply shading to some components, hidden line to others, wireframe to others. And that's what a style state does. To create a style state, the easiest way is to start off by selecting components. I'm using the control key to select three of these parts. Then you go to the model display overflow menu and choose component display style. And from here I can choose to display these components in no hidden line. And then maybe it would be convenient for this component and this component to be displayed in wireframe mode. And maybe a couple of other components like this one over here and this one on the other side. I want to display in a transparent mode. And so in that way, I'm able to create my style state. Again, the basic process is that you are going to select a component and then go to the command and choose what mode that you want. Be aware that there's also this user defined choice. What that allows you to do is apply a style state from a sub assembly to the component in the higher level assembly. Now that I've created or applied my different actions to the components, you'll notice that down here in the lower left hand corner of the graphics area, it tells me that the style state is the master style, but there's a plus sign in parentheses. That means that I've made changes to the master style. If I want to store this style state in the model in order to use it again, I have to go to the view manager. And you can access the view manager from the manage views icon on the view tab. It's also available on the model tab in assembly mode, but probably the easiest way to get to it is from the in graphics toolbar. And here I am on the style tab. If I want to save this, I can right click and choose save, and then I could give it whatever name that I want. I'm just going to click OK. And that way I have my style state in the model. And there are a couple other predefined style states in this particular assembly. I can go back to the master style or double click back to the one that I just created. And that's how you define a style state. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are added. Thank you.